up, we have to operate on these equations. Stat, clear, boom. Oh. <laughs> okay, thank you for that. <laughs> Can you do yay math with that type of phrase? Or you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. I don't care. Do it right now. Go ahead. Why not? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if I can get my thumb in. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Not safe for a kind of doctor. Okay. I know. Okay, let's begin the discussion talking about relations. Okay? Relations are basically relating any two for the time being. Let me take that off here. Relating two pieces of information. Okay, so you see at the top of your page, it has, like, let's say for cats, and it has average life and max life. Okay. Can anyone guess what the average life of a kitty cat is? 12, 12. years. 12. It is 12. It is 12. Oh, wow. That's good. And what is the maximum life of a kitty? 18. 20. 25, 28, actually. 28, wow. Oh, 20. I'm like a cat yeah. genius. 28, yeah. <laughs> okay, so basically we're relating two pieces of information. For cats, the average life is this, and the maximum life is that. Okay, and we can relate other pieces of information. Let's say x and y. Two pieces of information. Okay, so you can see at the graph, at the bottom of your page, you have one point marked, I think it's two, three, is that correct? Yes. All right, and there's uh, three more points there. Try to re-familiarize yourself with the graph, the stuff that you all should have seen by now, hopefully. Keeping in mind that x is to the left and right, and y is up and down. See if you can label those three points. Where? On the bottom of the graph. Yeah, you see three points and three different um, quadrants. Just label it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Just, Just label the points. Yeah. Uh. First quadrant, two, three. I'm going to do some equation operation. So what is, this is the first quadrant, what's the point that you guys have in the second quadrant? Um, negative five, five, negative four. 5, 4. Negative 5, 4 is right. Negative 5, 4. Those of you without packets still, you can feel free to look at your neighbors. And we'll get, you'll get you those momentarily. Negative 5, 4. What about down here? Negative 7, seven negative, negative 8. Two. I'm feeling negative 3, right? Negative yeah. 7, negative yeah. 3. That's right. Negative 7, negative 3, meaning we went left 7 and then down 3. And then finally, last quadrant over here. Six, six, negative, six, negative, one. six negative one. Negative three. 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 Six I, negative three. I wrote that. <laughs> Bless your Bless. soul. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, if it can be. Okay. So these, that's a reacquainting with graph. Again, going left to right, and then going up or down. Okay. Please flip the page to the next side. Okay. And so now we're going to define what the term relation is. Okay. Relation is a set of ordered pairs. Set of ordered pairs. Okay. So let's come up with a set. I'll come up with one, maybe one, two. Can you give me another ordered pair? Three, four. Three, four, why not? 17 and 31. <laughs> Kind of harder to graph, but um, can we be maybe in the neighborhood? Zero and one. Zero, one. Okay. Zero and one. Wait, can okay. be any two numbers? Yeah, any two numbers. Any okay. Two rows. Yeah. Let's talk about now what means, what, what domain and range mean. Okay. It was actually cool department chair sitting in for half of the lesson or whatever, a quarter. Did that make you nervous or anyone? Yeah. yeah. Made you nervous? At first. Okay. Like, At first, don't be nervous. It's okay. He's, he's a doctor. He's, he's a doctor, too. That's cool. Oh, yeah, what's the name of my character? Uh, Math 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 Mathematic. 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 I'm going to operate on him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, like, wake up with, like, math equations on their body like this. <laughs> Funny. I had a heart problem. <laughs> it's like... He forgot the negative on me! <laughs> you know? That'd be cool. Anyway, in my world. Uh, Alright, 
And I always put this on my finger. It's fun too. So domain. I know you, you see the word domain there, and it has a definition. All right, the best way I can say it, it's all possible x values. The beginning is a lot of definition stuff, and it's kind of uh, rote. But once we get to later in the page, you're going to see why it's going to be necessary. So can we do the domain for this, bless you, this particular set? What are all possible x's? Yeah? 0, 1, 2, 3. 1, 3. 1, 3, and? 0. zero. Yeah, that's right. So we can go ahead and put that in. Good job. 0, 1, and 3. Or it doesn't matter for domain. OK. Range subsequently, what do you think it is? All possible? Y. Y. All pos y vowels. All right. And what are the what possible y values in this case? Two, four, one. Two, four and one. OK. And by the way, if there is another point in here, let's go ahead and add, let's say, one, Add that point to the set, please. And now, uh, does the the blah. <laughs> obviously I'm not a speech doctor. <laughs> um, does the one have to be rewritten? I don't know. No. It doesn't. No. Is one possible for x here? Yeah. Yes. So one is listed as a possible x value, and four is already listed as well. So we don't have to relist that as well. Okay. Let's define, we're going to get into discrete and continuous in a second. Let's define function. All right, I want to ask you two questions. First question, raise your hand if you've heard the word function before, somewhat familiar. Okay, most everyone. Raise your hand if you can comfortably define what it means. Okay, less people, you want to try? A special type of relation.